what is up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Lex and it's gonna be a random vlog it's Saturday right now I'm just hanging out today I've got to do some laundry do some errands and I currently just made it to my sister's so I'm actually waiting for her to hurry up and come home so we can head on in and then we're gonna go to a jump lounge so we can take my niece to go jump on some trampolines and honestly the jump lounges are so much fun as an adult as well and it's a good workout so i'm excited about that i'm super snacky i've been craving movie theater popcorn like out the wazoo um i wanted to see the equalizer it comes out or it came out on friday but i think i'm going to go see the nun next friday when that comes out and then i'll go see equalizer so I'm actually really excited for the movies coming soon. Um, but yeah, I will go ahead and check in with you guys when my sister gets here and we're all loaded up and we're in the house. So, BRB. <laughs> Ryan, is he good? <laughs> Cheers, you guys. Sister made spaghetti. Mm -mm -mm. I love spaghetti. What is up you guys? Good morning, good morning. It is Sunday, fun day. Cheese. It's a video, baby. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and guess what we're doing? We're playing Hungry Hungry Hippos, y'all. Talk about a throwback. Yeah, I just want to pick a hippo on the end. What color, what color are you going to be? No, no, red, red, red. My turn. You go first? Yeah. Okay. Factory, Rigatoni Pasta. I want noodles. Huh? What's that? Not pasta. What? What's up, vlog? So, I was supposed to get my nose pierced. Oh. <laughs> Hi there, baby. I was supposed to go get my nose pierced, but the piercing shop that I went to I guess the piercer doesn't work on Mondays or Tuesdays so um I might go tomorrow I was really excited to include it in this vlog because I need to get this vlog up but I need to finish this bite of food look at him staring at me um so instead of Getting my nose pierced, I ended up picking up some Chinese food. So I'm gonna grub out. I'm going to get back to work. I've just been working today, it's Tuesday. So just kind of catching up for Monday. I've got a lot of admin today. I'm gonna be working just a hair of overtime um, just to make sure I'm all buttoned up for the week. Um, but yeah, I'm, dude, I'm so excited for the holiday season. I don't know, I don't even normally celebrate holidays, but I'm just ready for people to be like in the vibes. Like everyone is forced to be happy. No, that's terrible, but I don't know. I feel like the environment just gets a little bit more jolly this time of year. So um, I think in the next clip, I'll probably set up you guys on the tripod so I can just chat with you a little bit about moving and what's coming up with my channel here very soon, so. Let me finish eating. It's really good. Spicy. 
He looks so grumpy. You love it here. Bye. Wow, it's giving anime boy. Okay, vlog, so I'm going to go get my nose pierced for real, for real this time. So I was calling around to see any local studios in my area. Um, some are starting to take appointments, which I'm not used to, cause that's pretty new. I live in a kind of smallish town. Now we gotta do appointments. So I found a place where I don't have to do an appointment. So I'm gonna do a walk-in. I'm hoping to get my hoop right here. <laughs> um, I'm excited. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna brush my teeth so I don't hot box the piercer. And I don't think I'm, I'm gonna try to film, but I don't have anyone with me to film. So I'll do what I can. I just do, I'll do what I can, guys. But I'll come back, that's for sure. All right, <laughs> check in with you guys later. I did it, yay, the piercing happened so fast. I was literally home in like 10 minutes, like piercing, payment, driving home, 10 minutes. But you guys, here she is. I love this wig, but I really hate how this flips up. It adds to the look, but it makes me self-conscious. Anyway, yes, here she is. So I know it's uneven. And you know what? Feel free to say it in the comments if that makes you feel better. But I primarily asked him to make it lower because this one is pierced so high up. Using a hoop for it was just like next to impossible pretty much. So I had him I had him pierce it lower to accommodate a, a hoop um, in my nostrils because look how thick my nostrils are. So for a hoop to have to fit all this meat and then come back over here, huh? no. So I just had him do this one lower and this is only going to be a hoop piercing anyway. So I'm really happy. It's going to look wonky for the next four to six weeks, but we're going to clean her. We're going to take care of her. I could probably do a piercing aftercare video. This is obviously not my only piercing. I have had so many piercings in my entire life. Some have come, some have gone, some have stayed. What's up? Welcome to the piercings portion of this video. I got a new nose piercing and I'm super obsessed and so in love. It was bleeding a little bit earlier because I literally just got it done maybe like 15 minutes ago. And I'm so, I'm so obsessed with it. I'm so excited. It's nothing too special, but I got this piercing primarily so I can put a hoop in it later. And this is gonna be the hoop hole and this is gonna be the stud hole. So that's primarily why I got my piercings. Now I'm looking to get more piercings here pretty soon. I actually want my eyebrow pierced. I have been doing my makeup that includes like this mole. I started doing that so I can kind of see what I would look like with just something right there. Like, am I okay with looking in the mirror every day and having a dot right there? So I am. Eyebrow piercing might come like later on, maybe during Christmas, New Year, Blah, maybe then. But for right now, we're gonna keep doing what we're doing. So let's go ahead and dive right into the nose piercings. I would say this nose piercing is pretty much over two years old. This one I got 10 minutes ago. Um, the pain scale for both ta tattoos. <laughs> the pain scale for both piercing. <laughs> the pain scale for both piercings, I would say was like three out of 10, mainly because this one was a little bit further up. So it hurt just a little bit more, but it was a breeze. This one was like, honestly, a two out of 10, one out of 10, a zero out of 10. It happened so fast, but it was bleeding and it's a little bit sore. Once again, I just got it done. Um, would I do it again? Yeah, I have plenty of nostril room. So I might go cuckoo bananas crazy and add another stud here and there, but for right now, I'm really happy with a double. Um, but yeah, healing is great. I do have like a turquoise stud here and I have a silver diamond here and i'm getting into my silver girl era so golds warm tones get the fuck out because i'm turning into a sterling girl okay next up i'm going to talk about my ashley piercing i do believe that's the right name for it it is an ashley piercing i'm on google right now <laughs> ashley labray you name it. Ash, go to your piercing and say I want the Ashley. 
Um, I have the one that does not go down. I have the one that goes through the lip. So it is a flat back piercing. Like that. And I love it. Um, I would say this one's also like probably two and a half, three years old. And the healing process for this one, I would say the piercing itself was like maybe a three out of 10. And then the healing process for it was like a six out of 10, mainly because with your lips, you're talking, you're drinking, you're eating. And I feel like that really prolonged the healing process. I'm all like, ah. I really do feel like the mouth was really hard to heal because you obviously use it. Um, I don't know why I did that, but you use your mouth. You know what I'm saying, girl? Um, but it just took a while to heal. This is getting inappropriate rapidly. Um, I love this piercing. It's never gonna go anywhere, no matter what. So I haven't even changed the jewelry out since I got it done. No, that's a lie. Um, shortly after I got it done, like a few months after and it was healed, um, I swapped the jewelry out for this one. So this hasn't been changed in a hot minute, but I keep it clean, so it's okay. I do need to update all of my old jewelry too, like my ears my lip in this one. So yeah, that's the Ashley and we love Ashley. And then the next piercing that I have are just my earlobes for right now. I have three and these are just studs that I got done in the mall. And I got them, um, I wanna say a year ago. I got my second holes redone and then I got my third holes done. I want to say like late last year, I took them out and the piercing closed. So had to redo that. And then I did have cartilage piercings often in my childhood, but cartilage piercings are ridiculously annoying <clears throat> to heal, annoying to sleep, just so obnoxious. So I have re-pierced my cartilage piercings three, four times, honestly given up all the time every single time i've redone it i'm like why did i do this again so no more cartilage piercings for me i do want a conch piercing but i don't want to risk getting a keloid because i just cartilage is just giving me issues so i haven't really been messing with that um but yeah that is pretty much all of the piercings that i have for right now some honorable mentions of piercings that i have had but are no longer with me i got my titties pierced and I got that done when I was in high school. I was a little crazy girl. And I had those in for a minute. I had those in until I was like 23, 22, 23. And I got them when I was like, right when I turned 18. So I had them in for a few years. I got rid of them. I wish I never did. I will say this, if you get your nipples pierced, keep them in for as long as you humanly possibly can. I regret taking them out. I took them out for a boy. Ah! Don't ever do that shit, okay? I miss them. I genuinely miss having my nipples pierced, but they're not anymore. And am I gonna get it done again? No, cause that shit was 10 out of 10 painful. I would never get my nipples pierced again. I'm so sorry. I love them. If you have them, keep them. If you don't, mm. You better do it while you have the courage to because they kind of suck. Um, but once they're healed, they're amazing. I had no issues with my piercings, not at all. I love them. They healed beautifully. <sighs> Next up, honorable mention. What else did I have? I had my smiley done. I had my smiley and she was really cute, but I was like going to church and stuff and the church people were like, you can't have that. So I constantly had to like flip it up or hide it or like when I was talking, I had to talk like this so I can hold the jewelry. It was just like not giving. I'm like, I love God, but I love this piercing too. So I ended up getting rid of it. I kind of don't miss it though. I did love it while I had it, but I don't miss it. I don't miss it. It was kind of in the way. And then I got my under tongue pierced. I got that pierced. And that was honestly a crowd pleaser. And it was just so cool to flex and so cool to show people that I had. Do I regret taking that one out? I do. Because one, it was such a hot piercing. And two, I think he was just hating. And three, it was actually kind of hard to clean because it's under your tongue and you have to brush it constantly with a toothbrush. So it just got really tedious to maintain. 
um but i would do it again honestly i really would it's a hard piercing for a piercer to pierce but it is possible this is possible so get it pain like two out of ten it's a muscle you don't even well it's a muscle you could fuck up if the piercer doesn't pierce it the right way your tongue could go and i also I've just been floundering to make content to wrap up this vlog, but I am just so excited to be back on the tube, back to see YouTubers. And the real reason why I was gone, um, I was depressed, I was working, and I also didn't have internet. So now that I'm with internet, still depressed and still working, I am back bringing you premium content. Well, that is it for the vlog. I'm so happy you made it this far in this point. If you did, you might as well just subscribe. <laughs> and then if you're still here, go. What are you doing? <laughs> Clock out, sign out, close that laptop, get up, go move. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let y'all go. Catch you guys on the flip side, bye.